Hearing test, here's what you should know. A hearing test is a test that tests the ability of a person to hear. This test is performed by measuring how well sound waves travel to the brain. Hearing occurs when sound waves enter the ear and vibrate the eardrum. These vibrations transmit sound waves to nerve cells, which send information signals to the brain. In our brains, this information is translated into the sounds we hear. Hearing loss occurs when part of the ear, the nerves in the ear, or the part of the brain that controls hearing is damaged. Hearing Test Procedure 1. Whisper Test In the whisper test, the doctor asks the patient to cover the untested ear opening with a finger. The doctor then whispers a word or combination of letters and numbers and asks the person to repeat what they whispered. When whispering with a patient, the doctor should stand behind the patient and within one meter of her to prevent the patient from lip reading. If the person cannot repeat what they whispered, doctors use a different combination of letters and numbers or whisper it loudly until the person hears it. After completing the test on one ear, repeat the test on the other ear. The whisper test is passed if the patient can repeat her 50% of the words spoken by the doctor. 2. Tuning Fork Test In this test, doctors use tuning forks at frequencies between 256 and 512 Hz to determine the patient's response to sounds and vibrations near both ears. This tuning fork test was performed using the Weber test and the RIN test. In the Weber test, the doctor taps a tuning fork and places it in the center of the patient's forehead. For a ringtone test, the doctor taps a tuning fork and places it behind and to the side of the person's ear. People are asked to describe whether the sound is clearly heard in both ears or only in one ear. Patients are asked to signal even if they cannot hear sounds. 3. Speech Audiometry Test A speech audiometry test aims to determine how loud a sound must be heard before a patient can hear it. This test is also designed to determine whether a patient can understand and distinguish between different words spoken by a doctor. For this test, patients are asked to wear headphones. The doctor then plays the words on headphones at different volumes and asks the patient to repeat the words they hear. 4. Pure Tone Audiometric Test For this test, doctors use an audiometer, a device that produces pure tones. The device is played to the patient through headphones with tones varying in frequency and intensity from 250 Hz to 8000 Hz. The test begins with a sound intensity that is still audible and gradually decreases until the patient can no longer hear it. Then increase the sound intensity again until the patient can hear it. Patients are asked to sign if they can still hear sounds. 5. Brain Stem Auditory Evoke Response BAER. In the BEAR test, also called brainstem evoked response audiometry BERA, a doctor attaches electrodes to the patient's crown and earlobes the doctor then plays a quick or specific sound through headphones and the device records the patient's brain's response to the sound test results show that brain activity increases when patients hear machine generated sounds if test results do not show increased brain activity when hearing sounds the person may be deaf Abnormal test results may also mean that there is a problem with the patient's brain or nervous system. 6. Otoacoustic Emissions OAE. An otoacoustic emission exam OAE, is used to check for disorders of the inner ear, especially the cochlea, cochlea. This test is usually done on newborns, but it can also be done on adults. In this test, a small device with headphones and a microphone is inserted into the patient's ear canal. The doctor then sends the sound through headphones to the patient's ear, and a microphone detects the cochlear response. Responses produced by the cochlea are displayed on a monitor screen, so patients do not need to cue when they hear sounds. Doctors evaluate the sound that is causing the reaction and the extent of the reaction. AE testing allows doctors to determine the nature of a patient's hearing loss. AE can also detect blockages in the outer and middle ear. 7. Acoustic Reflex Measures Acoustic reflexometry, ARM, or middle ear muscle reflex, MEMR, aims to measure the ear's response to loud sounds. With normal hearing, loud sounds cause small muscles in the ear to strain. In the arm test, a small rubber band attached to a recording device is placed in the patient's ear canal. A loud sound is then heard through the rubber and the device records the reaction from the patient's ear. If the patient has poor hearing, a loud sound is required to provoke an ear response. In fact, in extreme conditions, the ears do not react at all. 8. 
Tympanometry Before beginning the test, doctors examine the person's ear canal to make sure it is free of wax and other obstructions. After making sure the ear canal is clear, the doctor inserts a small device like headphones into each patient's ear. When worn, the device blows air into the ear with varying pressures to move the eardrum. The movement of the eardrum is displayed on a graph in a special device called a tympanogram. A tympanogram graph shows whether a person's eardrum is moving normally, is too stiff, or is moving too much. A tympanogram also allows doctors to determine if the person's eardrum has ruptured or if there is fluid in the middle ear. Do not talk, move, or swallow during the test as this will affect the test results. Patients were considered to have normal hearing if the air pressure in the middle ear was between plus 50 and minus 150 decapascals, the middle ear was free of fluid, and the tympanic membrane movement was normal.